Hello and welcome to Rust A Noob's Guide Part 4 Blueprints. In this episode I'm going to show you why you need to keep all those blueprint fragments and not convert them into pages, books and libraries. I will leave a link in the description below to what you can get out of them. There was a Reddit I found, but on with the video. You can find the research benches in the game at the airfield and at the satellite dish. You place the item you want to learn in the source item at the top and then the, you can boost your chance to get a blueprint out of it by using the blueprint fragments. I always go for 100% because if it's a weapon I do not want to waste my resource or my time on repairing it and if it is an ammo type I do not want to lose that ammo. I know here I'm only using a arrow but um, it just displays my point that you know if you are going to research a bullet type you've got a 30% chance it can easily break. I know some of you who have been watching my videos from the start may have already worked this one out. This is for people who have just started to play Rust more than the rest of you. But for the most recent set of updates there's been an attack dropper which has led me to revise my building strategy. At some point in this video I will um, hit shift tab and you'll be able to see exactly how long it's taken me to go from butt naked to everything I currently have. That includes my jacket, my guns, my ammo, all of my research and building. But the building itself I convert the front door to armoured as soon as I can and I keep it as stone because for some reason stone seems to be more durable than sheet metal which seems to have lower hit points even though it's an upgrade I don't know why they've done that it just seems a bit dumb to me but never mind the 3 by one by one is different to the 2 by one by one because you can fit in a little bit more. Yes, it's harder to conceal, but it's worth the extra resource. You can fit in two furnaces, two large chests, you can fit in one tool cupboard so no one can block you in, and one sleeping bag. I did try to put a bed in one of them, didn't work. So this is a very good start off building. Once you've Obviously, you've got to the stage where you've got your twigs. Upgrade the whole thing to wood quickly. This will just prevent someone from coming along and emptying bullets into it and disintegrating it. It's not something you want to keep because wood is obviously a terrible building material in this game. If you leave it, someone will set it on fire with an incendiary round or, a, or an incendiary rocket. So... You want to upgrade it to stone as soon as you can, and the front door to armoured. With the attack chopper itself, I am aware that there are guides out there which will allow you to bring it down. My personal opinion is, don't bother. If you want someone to take it, if, we, if you want the items that it drops, let me put it this way, if you want the items that it drops, wait for someone else to shoot it down, run to the crash site, and cap them. Don't waste your time, don't waste your ammo, and don't risk your own life to try and shoot it down. It's pointless. It's got a tracking machine gun and it's got rocket pods. If you're by yourself, it'll fuck your shit up faster than, you know, I don't know, Ayrton Senna's crash. It's silly. Don't bother. So, you want to make your main focus now getting a small building up very, very quickly obviously as well as getting your blueprints, I mean that, that just goes without saying and you're about to see my shift tab in a few seconds and that will show you exactly how many minutes it took me to get all of the clothing I'm wearing all of my weapons, all of my blueprints and a stone house with an armoured door which you can see here and there you go time played in session. Nice and easy, didn't take too long, 
and I managed to avoid the helicopter while I was doing it. It's very important to remember if you are constructing a building while the helicopter is on the map, go for rocks. Don't go near towns, don't go near buildings, go for rocks. It's easy to line of sight in a cluster of rocks, so there's no real need to worry. Uh, by the way, if you're thinking you'll try and track me down on one of the servers I play on to look for this hut, it doesn't exist anymore, I destroyed it. Um, also, I have three or four huts on every server I play on, so again, don't bother.